All right. Hello everyone, Gavin here from CSV Getter. This guide is supposed to be a lot more fun. We are going to be making an AI chatbot uh, using CSV Getter, Python, and Google Sheets. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a live connection, um, a live context for the, for the AI chatbot. So basically, we'll write some code to power this AI chatbot using OpenAI. The context will come from Google Sheets. So basically, um, we're going to be able to update how our chatbot behaves, not by changing the code, but just by changing the data in a dynamic platform like Google Sheets. And we're going to connect this all using CSV Getter, which is an app that we have built and run. Uh, if you're not familiar with CSV Getter, it allows you to connect to platforms like Google Sheets, Airtable, Notion 2, and create live links from your, your um, spreadsheet or database data. So I'll get started and show you what I have in mind. So I've got some data in Google Sheets. It's just a small data set describing the rate of certain services provided. Now in CSV Getter, we're just going to create a live link for this data. So for data source, we select Google Sheets. If it doesn't come up as the data source, you can just press Add. This will take you to the data screen. You can refresh or create your Google Sheets connection here. But going back to creating an export, Obviously, I've connected all platforms, so I can select Google Sheets. And then next thing I want to do is I want to select this spreadsheet. So I can select this directly from my drive here. And then service rate is the sheet that I'm interested in. So this is basically the tab that you're selecting here. I'll call this service export. So obviously now we're going to have our live view of what's going to be coming out of our data link. This is obviously powered by the Google Sheets data. We'd have the option to reorder our rows and remove rates, but we're dealing with such a small data set in this video that I'm just going to go ahead and copy the URL straight away and feed it into Python. So obviously here's my Python project. Uh, I'm in a fresh environment here. Uh, I'm going to use pandas initially to get things started. So first I'll pip install pandas. Just pause for this process, it might take a wee while. Now uh, that's just done already. So I will import pandas as pd. And then the next command I'm going to want to do is df equals pd.read csv. And I'm just going to be using the web link from CSV Getter. And then just to make sure this is all working, I'm just going to go ahead and print my df. So I save that. And then I'm going to do run Python main in the terminal. Let's see if we get any errors or if everything runs. No, everything's ran fine. So there's my, uh, my items there, service ABC and the rate 200, 300, 200. So that's perfect. Uh, I can go ahead and use pandas to ingest this data and feed it into OpenAI. The other th option I have to do here, I could change this to JSON and make this basically a JSON endpoint. And then I can go ahead and then just use this as the context for my um, from my AI model, and I think I actually will do that because that'll be a little bit easier when we feed things into ChatGPT. So I've updated the code here. I still need to install requests. So I'll do pip install requests into my environment. Um, so what I'm just going to do now, because this is now a JSON endpoint, there's two ways to switch uh, over to JSON and CSV Getter. You can obviously do CSV switch so you change it at the source here you actually change the nature of the endpoint or i can just keep things csv as the default and in the code just add this parameter which is type equals json record so i can actually do it on the fly basically just by adding this to my link or i can um, or i can just change it at the source it's up to you really uh, so let's see if that works i'm just i've not tested this code yet so i'll just do python main I've not printed it, I've just realized that. No errors, so I just do print data and see if it's coming out uh, as I'd like it to come out. Uh, response 200, so I need to get that as JSON, so I'll just do that now. I need to remember the command though. Okay, so it was just print data.json. Um, and then you see we've got our, our data coming out. 
as it is. And I think this is probably the best way to do it because we will just feed this into um, the context of our chat GPT. Uh, so I'll show you what that code looks like. Right, so I've just done a couple of things there. First thing I've done is I've added an uh, environment um, file, which has my open API key in it. Uh, what this is doing is it's loading my open API key into my code, basically keeping it secret so I don't have to have it on the screen. Uh, obviously, environment variables is good practice to do when you eventually deploy code, but you don't have to do this. You could just paste your open API key in here if your code's not going anywhere. But if you're ever deploying code, it's really good practice to have sensitive stuff or variable stuff in a .env file so that you can load it in dynamically. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're obviously going to be using the open API library here, so I'll show you what that looks like. First thing we want to do is pip install openAI. And that's that installed there. Right, now that's installed, import OpenAI, and then we want to initialize OpenAI, so I believe it's OpenAI.API key, and that's going to equal our environment variable, or you can just paste in your OpenAPI key. When you have generated it, I should probably show you how to generate it, I'll do that now. I'm on the OpenAI website now. I've pressed login. I'm not going to log into ChatGPT. I'm going to log into the API platform. Go over to API keys and create a new secret key. Copy that key, save it somewhere uh, safe. And this is what you're going to be using in your code. And back to the code. So the API key goes in here, openai.api key. Right, I've done a couple of updates to the code here. Um, I've added now the context, so it's going to be my service rates are plus my rates. And my rates is, we're not taking the JSON of the, I thought I'd just keep it in text since we're adding it to a string. It's just the data that we get from the API.txt, and that's just um, the, the JSON in string format. So that can be added to this string here. I'll actually put a space there. Now I'm basically done, is created the messages where with the OpenAI API, we can feed in um, the content of a uh, content before you start messaging to the, uh, the chat bot, which is basically going to tell it how to behave beforehand, give it a prompt, uh, which is going to give it basically some context. So an example of that would be you can tell it to behave a certain way. You could say, for example, you are da Darth Vader, and then start chatting to it, and it will respond like Darth Vader. It's not asking it a question. It's basically telling it how to behave and I want to tell it how to behave uh, by giving it the rates um, that are coming from, from Google Sheets. All right, so I've added the next part of the code here. I'm just gonna explain what's going on. So what we're doing is we're saying, while true, collect some user input. So basically we're gonna create the chat type environment where the code is gonna be constantly waiting for an input from the user, and that's gonna be us. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to, what we've done here is we've done a, an if command. If you type in exit, then you can stop the conversation. So that's the first thing we'll check for, is the user trying to end the chat. If it does, it's going to say ending the conversation, and it's going to break this loop. Uh, but if they don't type in exit, they're typing in a question that the, the, a, the AI needs to interpret. So we're going to add that to messages. This is what the user is saying, and the content is the user input. And then it's going to try and get response from chat. Uh, GPT. So we're going to be using this model, and we're going to we've basically appended this message. So we're going to give it messages that has the content that we added earlier, which comes from Google Sheets, and then it has a new thing that the user asks. And then the assistant's reply is basically going to be the, the response generated from the AI. And then we're going to print service bot, and that's going to have the reply there. And then we're going to go ahead and add that to the message array so that the context of the conversation is understood. And we're going to keep doing that until basically the user wants to end the, the conversation. Now we have uh, accept exception here. If anything breaks, it's gonna tell us the error. So with this code in place, we should be chatting to um, basically a chat GPT which understands, which knows about our Google Sheet here. Um, so I'll just go ahead and run this code now, Python 3 main. So first thing it does is it wants me to say something. Now, consider what happened here. We've got three services, A, B, and C, and we want to know how much they cost. So uh, going back to our, our code here, uh, how much is service B? Right, so it said service B costs 300 pounds. So let's see if that's correct there. 
indeed it does. Okay, right. Um, how much is service A? Service A costs 200 pounds, okay. Uh, do any services cost the same as the other? Yes, both service A and service C cost the same, which is 200. Which service is the best value? To determine the best value moment, it's essential to consider the cost relative to the service provided. So it's now basically, it has the full context. We've not given it any information as to um, what the services uh, provide. So, but we could obviously do that just by updating our Google Sheet here. So let's try that, actually. Let's have a bit of fun. So going back to Chrome, um, item service A is great. So let's just call this um, um, value, I guess. So let's just keep it something super basic. Really good, uh, pretty bad, OK. Um, so it's just saved to update my Google Sheet. And let's see now if, um, let's see how that conversation now goes. So I'm just going to refresh CSV Getter here and see if that we have that third column selected because we've updated our data source. Yes, so uh, value is a new column, so we actually need to select this on CSV Getter. So that's an oversight on my part, but now that we've selected it, it's going to be included. So once more, we go back. Start it again. Um, how much is service B? Service B costs 300. Is it good value? Service B is rated as pretty bad. So it now understands the context because we've delivered it. So obviously AI depends on what context you give it. And we've set up a system where we can set things up dynamically. So what's nice about this is how I envision this being used is that uh, Google Sheets, you could have a lot of data in here about basically services, products um, provided that you can feed into an AI chat box. So it basically knows and has a, a real world idea. The thing to remember with AI is that it's always guessing and you don't want it to be guessing and making up stuff. So you want to give it good context uh, when you're prompting it so that it stays on track and stays focused. And I foresee this as a good way of doing it if you want to update it from an online service like Google Sheets. So this obviously uses CSV Getter. There's lots of ways, but obviously I'm going to use our product and show you how to use it with our product. Uh, if you have any questions about CSV Getter, please get in touch. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video in general, I'd be happy to answer them. And yes, yeah, so if you want to get in touch, it's info at csvgetter.com. Thank you for watching.